This is the path I'm just walking down from the spring. So we went up to the to the top of the tell where we saw all the ruins, the Canaanite ruins and the the ruins of the uh, Israelite kingdom. And we went across to the high altar to the high place, and uh, then to the spring just there where the source of the water comes from. And this is what it's like. We're walking through this tunnel of foliage here. It's very peaceful. There's birds tweeting. I'm in a space with no tourists at the moment, so that's really good. Every now and again, there's literally a busload of people coming through. So it's a great pleasure to travel with Roger and not have that crowds and being pushed around and jostling for a picture and being shoved back on the bus again. We're able to come and dwell in these places and have some peace in there here. Some time to dwell on scripture and think about what it was like of times past. To walk the paths, I mean ahead here you can literally see on the ground, it's really rough but there's all cobblestones placed down here such a long time ago. And these these people, these figures, these men of history, these, these figures from the past in a Bible that formed and shaped the earth and, and God's very kingdom itself would have walked and trod these paths just as I am here today. It's a very humbling and amazing thing to try and strip away modern society, walk along this, this old ancient cobblestone road you can hear the water trickling in the background and to think that this was once a, a great fortress city and this is the boundary that the Lord gave to his people what a boundary it has protection it has resources it has water and there's the water coming from the spring it's barely moving here and then it tra travels all the way down this path so it's uh, it's amazing